Hi again everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a tag. If you've been following along in this, in the last few weeks, I haven't done any tag videos. I think I've just been doing all sorts of different things, booktube prize and reading updates, but just no tags. No one's actually tagged me though. So I've just gone and found some that, I, that sounded particularly uh, interesting. And I've got like three or four here, but I'm gonna do one today and chuck it up. And this one was really, really good. Um, I saw Codex Cantina guys uh, do this one. If you've never seen the guys from Codex Cantina, they're two guys that um, just bounce off each other so well. And it's a really, really funny channel. They did this rapid fire book tag where you get quick and, quick and easy questions. You just give your choice, maybe a very short description of why you're making that choice, and then move on. Because there's like 20 questions in this thing. So. Glasses on, here we go. This is called the Rapid Fire Book Tag. It was originally by Girl Reading, which I think I subscribe to. I'll link it down below. And I have watched it through the Codex Cantina guys doing their tag. Here we go. The prompts, ebook or physical book? Physical book. I like ebooks a lot, uh, but physical books, I love the tactile. Oh physical books. Paperback or hardback? Purely cost, but paperback. Well, actually, not just cost. The actual tactile-ness, tactile acality <laughs> of, a, of a physical book is beautiful, but I like the bendability, which is also a wonderful word, the bendability of a paperback. I like this rather than a hardback. So, uh, paperback or hardback Purely for aesthetics, paperback. I didn't realise I was actually going to say that until I just said it. Online or in store, where I'm, where possible, in store. Um, I will try in store right up until the point that I just know that I can't, can't get it, um, and then go online. And I try and go independent online or Australian online, um, which is which is the key. Um, uh, and we do have, we're lucky enough to have uh, an online book retailer in Australia called Booktopia, which is, who are excellent. They'll get in anything and their prices are really good um, so that I can stay away from the big boys and not have to play in that big pond. Uh, now we get into onto actual books, trilogies or series? What a strange question. Well, if I had to choose, I'd say trilogy. Ah, uh, no, sorry. If I had to choose, I would say series. Why limit yourself to to three, that seems like an arbitrary thing to do. Trilogies or series. And then what denotes a series? Is a series anything that contains a thread of a narrative? And in that way, it could be two could be a series, three could be a series, four and so on could be a series. Now let's, uh, let's say series. Heroes or villains? I love me a good villain. I really do love a good villain. You know, I, I read a lot of the mystery, and not just throwaway mysteries, but really intelligent, good mystery novels. Uh, and I love, I do love a good villain. Not your James Bond villain that, oh, welcome to my lair. As you can see, I love sharks in this moat. Um, I'll be glad that, I'll be glad we won't be impressed to see you get out of this one, Mr. Bond. Um, no, but a good villain, truly evil, truly cunning and manipulative, and that just suckers everyone into their to their plan is 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 great in a book a book i want everyone to read that is so hard i'm going to drop that to the bottom i'm going to come back to that one a book i want everyone to read oh that's so difficult recommend an underrated book oh man i'm going to think about this a little bit more recommend an underrated book i'll come back to that one the last book i finished the last book i finished was robert mcfarlane's underland and unfortunately, I can't even tell you what it was like because it's a booktube prize one. Sorry, sorry. But yes, last book I finished, Robert McFarlane's Underland. Go and buy it. Uh, the last book I bought, which was, I just had it in my hot little hands, William Dalrymple's The Anarchy, all about the East India Company. Big lump of a book. Can't wait for that. Uh, weirdest thing I've used as a bookmark. Well, personally, I just use bookmarks as bookmarks. My dad, who is no, is no longer with us, used to read in the bathroom or in the toilet all the time and used to use toilet paper 
unused of course. Toilet paper is his bookmark. And then when he'd bring his book out of the toilet and read on the couch or read in bed, it was, it was still a piece of toilet paper. Me, I'm just bookmarks, I guess. I've never been one for folding the pages, but definitely bookmarks. But bookmarks of all different types. I've got the ones that they send you when you buy a book. Uh, I've also got these little ones that I bought on my hike last year, which are little magnetic things, little flip, flip over magnetic things that I got from the Prado Museum in, in um, Madrid, which is, I'm not sure what this, oh, this is Francisco de Goya, a little picture of a dog. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few of those that I bought because they were very inexpensive, but nothing weird like, I don't know, fruit and vegetables. Um, used books, yes or no? abso frickin lootly used books. Yes, they got a character all their own. Um, and every, most towns have got a used bookstore and I, I go there whenever I can. So, abso frickin lootly uh, Top three favourite genres. Let me see, literary fiction is one. Uh, mystery is another. And... Huh, literary fiction, mystery... And I'd have to say, gee, hot shit, maybe, no, historical fiction, nature writing, maybe, something like that. That's hard. Literary fiction, mystery, thriller, so that sort of thing. And then his, uh, historical fiction or nature writing. Wow, that's hard. Uh, borrow or buy. Oh, that's such a difficult one. I love doing both. I love it, but my libraries are shut. So at the moment I'm, bo I'm buying, borrow for me, not from other people, I don't borrow from other people because I'm not big on lending my own books anyway, but from a public library kind of deal, yeah, I love going to the library. I've always got books checked out. In fact, I've got books checked out now that I can't actually return until the library's reopened sometime in the distant future. So, <laughs> um, and they've just said, ah, oh, just bring it back whenever. So. Okay, I'll bring them back whenever. Never. Uh, long, oh no, where are we? Characters or plot? I'm characters, and if you've heard me describe why I love books, it's always down to because I understood the character so well. Um, a book doesn't have to be about anything. <laughs> a la Seinfeld. A book that, like, some of the best books out don't have a skerrick of plot but they've got great characterizations. And if you've heard me rave about things like the Dutch House, I, feel, I fall in love with books because I intimately know the characters. The characterization is important, important to me. Long or short books? Short, I like short books. Uh, yes, there's gotta be a reason to have a very long book and it's gotta sustain me right, throughout. Um, short books are great uh, because I, I, I firmly believe you could tell a, a cracking story and hit so many important points in just 150 pages. I'm absolutely, some of my all-time favourite books are short, shortish books. Like Mrs. Dalloway, for instance, such a short book about a woman walking around London for a day. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, uh, long or short chapters, short chapters. I read when I can read, so reading a chapter and then closing a book is is so useful. Reading half a chapter, closing a book and then trying to work out what the hell was going on when I reopen it the next day is frustrating. Short chapters. Uh, name the first three books I think of. First, I can't think of anything. You know what I've got in my mind is the three books I just bought which are sitting at my feet right now. Um, so that's kind of it. Anarchy. Oh, man. Anarchy, Stasi Land by Anna Funder, and Flight Lines by Andrew Darby. Sorry, that's a bit of a wasted question because I had books sitting at my feet. Uh, books that make you laugh or cry. Again, go back to that character thing. You know, it's the people that make me cry and, and laugh. So if you get the characterization right, yeah, I will laugh and or cry or both at books all the time. Uh, our world or fictional worlds. I like our world, and but I do like, um, you know, 
near future kind of alternate real alternate futures that sort of dystopian future i do like that sort of stuff too but it is it's grounded in our world so even where i do where, even when i do read extensions it's an extension of our world so i like reality but i also when i don't read in a reality type setting it's it's grounded in this reality rather than in a completely made up universe what i'm trying to say is i don't like fantasy <laughs> or science fiction that that's problematic for me um audiobooks yes or no absolutely yes absolutely yes i I'm always audio. I used to be a big fan of podcasts, but then since I discovered audiobooks, I'm I'm all about the audiobooks. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. And the very last uh, the very last book haul I did, you would have seen me say over and over and over again, I bought this book because it's got a pretty pink colour. Or I bought this book because look at the beautiful photograph on the cover. I do it all the time. Um, Book or movie or book to TV? Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? No. That's not a choice either way, no. Book, book 100%. Uh, good. And then the adaptations, I think, are always inferior. I'm com competing with birds this afternoon. A movie or TV show you preferred to its book? I don't know. Movie or TV, I think I have to come back to these. Series or standalones, absolutely standalones. Um, yeah, even in the thrillers and, and mysteries and stuff, I just like a standalone. It doesn't have to be a detective that I have to have a relationship with and carry through six, six books. I don't really care about that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, a great ripping yarn is all I care about. One book, will, one book will do to make that happen. There's got to be more than that. No, that's it. Let's go back. So let's go back to the beginning because I missed a few. Oh, there was, so there was two at the beginning. Um, a book you want everyone to read or recommend an underrated book. I like recommending books to people, but you've got to have that conversation with them first. You know, I'm not the kind of person that, that reads a book and then tells everybody that says, oh, you've got to read this book, it's amazing. And then everyone gets fed up with that person because, oh, you won't shut up about, about the fucking Dutch house. So I'm not that guy, you know. If I give you a recommendation, it's because we're talking about books and someone asks me, hey, I, I like these kind of books, what do you recommend? I don't go out of my way to give me recommendations. And the same, a book that I want everyone to read, well, everyone reads differently and everyone enjoys books differently. So... Those two I kind of see are very personal and that's kind of how I approach my book reading is it's a very personal thing. I'm happy to tell people what I'm reading and what, why I've enjoyed it but I don't kind of force stuff down people's necks. And the other one down the bottom of the list that I didn't get to was a movie or TV show you prefer to its book. I don't. I can't think of any. No, a movie, a movie or TV show I prefer to its book. I can't think of a single example. There's probably some in the science fiction and fantasy where I've enjoyed a book, a movie or a TV show, but either never read or not interested in or didn't enjoy the book. Um, there's probably some in that kind of realm because I, I generally I like sci-fi and fantasy movies to a point I guess but I don't generally read a lot of the books so yeah I can't name one though hmm that's a really interesting tag uh, that is the rapid fire book tag it wasn't so rapid fire there's 15 minutes of your life but it was, it was so many questions so many questions it was like 30 questions on this thing Hope you enjoyed that. I had a great fun. I had a great time doing that. If you've never checked them out, go and check out the Codex Can Cantina channel. Those guys are a lot of fun to listen to, uh, and they do all sorts of crazy stuff on their channel. Go ahead and enjoy that. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.